There is a documentary, it's called Quiet On Set, that was released recently. But the reason why we brought up Josh is because, where the where was Josh? Right, they're on the like, same set for Drake and Josh. Yup, it's TMZ Verified, the podcast. I'm wild. I'm Steph. Welcome back, Steph. Welcome back. The block was missing you last week. You did such a good job on the thank interview. Thank you, thank you. Which that interview kind of ties into a lot of what we're going to talk it about does. today. Go watch it if you haven't. Big story right now. Not even big story, but the big question right now. Are you Team Drake or are you Team Josh? And I'm not trying to make light of it, but that's where the internet is right now because there is a documentary, it's called Quiet On Set, that was released recently. And Drake Bell is featured heavily in the documentary. And he talks about a lot of the alleged sexual abuse that he faced while he was working at Nickelodeon, um, particularly from a guy that was, his name was Brian Peck. He was the Nickelodeon dialogue coach. So this was somebody that was hired by Nickelodeon that was working with Drake while he was on the set. Drake, he talked about a lot of things in this. And I'm, if you're like sensitive, just be wary that some of this stuff is a little like graphic. So he said, he recalled the story where he said, I was, one time I was sleeping on the couch where I would usually sleep. I woke up to him, the guy, Brian Peck. He opened his eyes and he was sexually assaulting him. That's some of the stories that Drake Bell has kind of talked about. So there's a lot of that in the documentary as well. But the reason why we brought up Josh is because where the, where was Josh? Right. They're on the like, same set for Drake and Josh. And mm -hmm. the fact that he, one, hasn't spoken out and said, hey, I didn't experience this. Or two, comment on the fact that Drake has clearly experienced it and give his opinion and right. support. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to break this down. If you didn't watch the documentary, we're going to tell you some of the stuff that was said, but also how some people are reacting or not reacting because some of y'all messed up. Um, so, like we said, we talked about the Drake Bell situation. Everybody's dragging Josh, and I agree with you in that sense. It's like, bruh, we was there together. Like, I have a hard time believing that. I mean, obviously, Josh might not have experienced or saw or witnessed right. anything or everything. Mm -hmm. But to say you never, I mean, he hasn't said anything. Right, to but, just And I not think that that's the weird yeah, part, that everybody's like, part. you ain't got nothing to say, bruh. Right. Because like, we, we're not even on a show, we're just on a podcast, mm -hmm. and I would want you to be like, hey. I didn't experience that, but, like, but that's crazy. And that's I my feel girl, like, and I support you. Right. right. Like, that's a little weird that he hasn't commented in any way, shape, or wait, form. Wait. So he did. So Josh Peck, he uploaded. And we should say that Josh Peck is not in any way related to Brian Peck. Yeah, that's The man that is accused confusion. of abusing Drake. Josh Peck, he didn't explicitly, like, address it all, but he came out on Monday, and he posted this weird-ass TikTok video where he was like, lip syncing or like you know how people like work mouth over like sounds and things like that and it was like i kind of kind of screwed up if i haven't talked to you since 2023 take that as a fucking sign that you don't exist to me anymore damn you fucking bug you got sprayed with the raid bye see you in that burp the weird part about this is that it specifically says if i haven't talked to you a certain amount of time that's the craziest thing mm -hmm. to post this, right? Mm -hmm. Read the room. And that's what everybody's saying on TikTok. They're like, bro, this is like, even though you didn't respond, it's low-key like a like a subtweet. Like it's a subtweet. Remember it's subtweets a, back yes, in the day? Like, it's a I subliminal, do. like, shot. Like, it's just really weird. To, I get it, okay? Don't comment at all. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're thinking about what you're going to say and you're going to come out with a huge statement. You're thinking in your brain. Right. But to post this is very, like, read the room. It's, it's weird. It's a little insensitive. Super. So something else in a documentary that, oh, my God, this is probably the most screwed up thing on so many levels. One, because they were children. And two, because he black. There is an actor who was a part of the All That cast. He's a black dude. His name is Leon Fearson. That's the actor's name. He was a part of the cast. And he told this story. And if you see me, if you're watching on YouTube and you're like, Wild, why are you, what are you getting to? He told this story about how they had him dressed as a character named Noseboy, which is racist as hell, number one. But the character had these little, like, dicks, penises on his shoulder. Play the clip, and then we're going to talk about it. The leotards. I mean, I was just a growing boy trying to, you know, fit into my body, and it was just out there for everyone to kind of look at and judge me or you know i just felt very exposed so one week we get a script there's a new character for me on all of that named nose boy naturally 
I'm in a superhero costume, which is just tights and underwear. You know, what was different about this, they, they gave me a prosthetic nose, like an enlarged nose, and they put this same nose on the costume. I can't get this nose! What are your special powers? You can't help but notice that it looks like penis and testicles on my shoulders. I'm allergic to asteroids! <laughs> And what was the 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 like ejaculation shot at the end? Like, there's so many things wrong with so it. So many things from the racism with the nose but to get put an enlarged nose, to put the penises on the shoulders, and to do some sort of so ejaculation. Up. It's so messed subliminal. up. Subliminal. It's so messed up. Like, nose boy. I feel bad. I mean, obviously, I feel bad. Oh, the whole situation is really screwed up just overall. Can't imagine being a child star. But when you add a sprinkle of racism, and there are some people online that are being like, oh, this was funny back in the day. No, it was racist then. Well, of like, course it was funny. Like, back then, like, I even watched this exact episode, I'm sure. And, like, I didn't notice because we're children. Because we're kids. Right. Right. But I have a hard time. I'm pretty sure that adult black people were like, uh, this is messed up. Like, that's we didn't thing. get it because we were kids. And I think that that's... A lot of the stuff that, like, if you see these, like, resurface videos or, like, resurface clips, and we're like, oh, wait, we watched that. It's crazy. And, and again, they're made for children, right? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. at the same time, these children are not understanding that that looks like a penis or that that is, like, ejaculation subliminal. Mm -hmm. The fact that this is just sick. It's really messed up. So uh, our boy got in trouble. And I'm talking about Devin Werkheiser, a.k.a. Ned from Ned's Declassified. Because on Monday, the whole Ned's pod group, they did like a, a live session. And during the live session, they made some, I'm just going to say trash ass jokes. Like, we like Devin, but here's what Devin said. Daniel, I told you. <laughs> Daniel, we told you never to speak about that. Get back in your hole, Daniel. And give me your holes. Sorry, we shouldn't oh, joke about this. Oh, we really shouldn't. God, this is awful. Why are we doing this? Because this is about this? us. Listen, our set was not like that. So when he came on Verified, he was very clear that on Ned's Declassified, he did not experience any sort of abuse or any sort of allegations on his behalf. Mm -hmm. This video is super insensitive. It's crazy because the documentary also talks about these holes. It's hard to explain if you don't watch the documentary, yeah. but... He's relating directly to the documentary, kind of making light of it. This is inappropriate. And I think the weird thing is that, like, one, I hate when if you are in a space and, like, you don't experience anything that happens in the space, that doesn't mean that those things don't happen. Like, we talk about this all the time. It's the same thing as being like, well, they didn't do anything to me. And it's like, okay, doesn't well. Doesn't make them not a screwed up person. Right. Like, like, it's the same kind of energy in that way. Right. And I, I think that that's the reason why everybody's pissed online because it's like, bro, you literally, you're. You're not, by, like, doubling down on that stuff and, like, making jokes about shit like that, it almost kind of dismisses the claims that the other child actors make, like, have made. Yeah, and I hate to be like, oh, my God, like, I hate when people overuse the word privilege or, like, oh, my God, mm -hmm. he's so... Cool. Right, right. But the fact that you didn't experience that sexual abuse yeah, like, is a privilege. Like, mm -hmm. that's great. You got to work on Nickelodeon and didn't experience that. That's great for you, but, like, uh, it's super insensitive. Yeah, and when we had Devin on uh, Verified, Last season, he talked about how his parents were like heavily involved. Devin was also like a teenager at when at this point, so I think there's a little bit of a difference in regards to like how long you were a part of those circles, how mm -hmm. young you were when you were introduced to that space, mm -hmm. and I think that to like dismiss those claims or joke about them in any way, as if that these children had any level of authority to say, "No, I'm not going to be involved in this," or "No, I'm not going to do that," it's kind of screwed up. Like, can I say something victims. too? Like, mm -hmm. if you were, let's say, picture when you were little and you wanted to be, like, on a show. These right. were, like, the coolest people ever. So if you get this chance mm -hmm. to be on Nickelodeon, you're on TV, you're making your dreams right. come true, and then a situation like sexual assault happens to you, the last thing you want to do, especially as a kid without any context of what's going mm -hmm. on, is fuck up your your acting role. Your acting role, your family probably depending your on it. Family like, depending on it financially. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many elements of this that like are insane. Yeah, we should say that uh, for his part, Dan Snyder has come out and he appeared on a kind of like I would say a sit down with uh, Boogie, who played Tebow on iCarly. So that's one of the actors from Nickelodeon. Important to note that he wasn't a child actor, so I'm not really sure why he chose to sit down with him. But Dan Snyder said. 
Watching over the past two nights was very difficult. Me facing my past behavior, some of which are embarrassing and that I regret. I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. There's so many things that could be said, but I just want to say this is super distasteful, I guess I would call it. Like, why is that person interviewing him, for one, he wasn't a child, to why is he not taking accountability for specific things that went on, whether it's lighthearted, mm -hmm. dark, super dark. He's not being specific enough. I will say, though, there is one piece of this that I, I it really don't sit right with my spirit. What? Where the hell is Ariana Grande? Like, why have we not heard from Ariana Grande? Ariana Grande, you don't get to walk. Like, and I feel like, and this is not to say, honestly, yes. I feel like if you were in a space where horrible things happen to other people, we saw, we, we, we're all now seeing this clip on TikTok that's from years ago where it's an Ariana Grande clip of her own Nickelodeon on this bed pouring water on herself in the most sexual manner ever. And she was a minor. Like, I'm just wondering why we haven't heard Ariana Grande come out and be like, yeah, this stuff is screwed up. And as y'all can see, we're everybody's looking for Ariana Grande response because the clip looks disgusting. Yeah. And there's also a toe clip of her in the documentary where it's like there's, you know, toe fetish stuff and foot what? fetish things that she could comment on her own experience. Like her she could be like, yeah, they made me do some like fucked up shit, but like I didn't get abused. But she should comment. In but some like way. You, you are Ariana Grande is arguably the biggest to come star out from Nickelodeon. Yeah. I would argue maybe like her. I mean, Kiki Palmer's big, but she's not a singer. You know what I like mm -hmm. a, a, at that level. But it's like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. Kiki Palmer, you got 24 hours to respond as well. Same with Josh Peck, though. Josh that, Peck, also on the list. Truly, like, I think that's a big one, especially because at least Ariana hasn't posted something that alludes to that allu it. Yeah, There could right. be a... Po I want to give Ariana the benefit of the doubt just because I love her. But, like... At the same time, maybe she's thinking of what exactly, how to go about this. She is yeah. a bigger star. She needs to make an exact, like, perfectly response, like, perfectly calculated response. Yeah. But Josh, to post that TikTok. Messed up. It doesn't, it doesn't look great. All right. Let's move on to something a little lighter. Please. Um... <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's already I can already see the clip. <laughs> so if you have been on, first of all, the tide is changing. And I love when we start randomly hating celebrities for no reason. You love that. And I don't even hate this person that we're going to talk about. But J-Lo is probably the most hated person on TikTok right now. Because there is a clip from J-Lo's This Is Me dot 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 noun documentary where she talks about growing up in the Bronx. Let's play it and then we'll talk. Taking my hair out like this, it reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. A crazy little girl who used to be wild and no limits, all dreams and Like, <laughs> be for real, Jennifer. <laughs> like, Can I also say something too? Yes. There's allegedly people going around on TikTok as well that I've seen. Mm-hmm. Where they're saying this took this clip took her five like tries five takes to do the clip. <laughs> it wasn't like a real moment they're saying allegedly where she's allegedly, looking in the mirror right. and being like, I really felt this this hair growing up back. being a kid in the in the Bronx running up and down the block. I, <laughs> so, Jenny from the block. Jenny from the block. So everybody's been dragging her online. Somebody said I had no clue Jenny was actually from the block. Like, you know, she really is truly is, allegedly yeah. from the block. Somebody going to say, it's giving me acting out scenarios when I'm home alone. Because you know how you'd be home alone? <laughs> you'd be like, film your own little documentary in your head. That's or like in the car when you think you're in a music video. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> when you're a kid. <laughs> so J-Lo, I mean, I don't really know what else to say, except J-Lo is, in fact, from the block, allegedly. Like, we know Jennifer Lopez is from the Bronx. And again, things get twisted all the time. Like, maybe she didn't take that five times. Maybe she did look in the mirror and really think, like, it takes me back to the mm -hmm. Bronx. So I don't want to shade her on that. Because, you know, I love a little sentimental moment. Right. But if it was taken five times, that's fucking hilarious. Also, I think that the TikTok audience is a lot younger. Totally. Just generally, it's a lot of younger people in there. Mm-hmm. If you weren't around back in the day, you don't know that Jenny is, in fact, from the block. Like, early Jennifer Lopez, her career, she was riding around getting it with Puffy. Remember the whole gun situation? Like, Jennifer was a lot more from the block back in the day. Like, if you just introduced right. to J-Lo J -Lo now, you'd just know this J-Lo. And I think her reputation now with everyone across the board uh -huh. is, yes, she was an icon mm -hmm. back in the day. 
And now it's like she refuses to age. That is an actual thing where people think that J-Lo is afraid to age, refuses to age. Do you mean that physically or career-wise? Her reputation and her looks. Mm. And mind you, she looks great. Like Maybe that's just people being haters. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, she refuses to age because she looks so good. But that is her reputation, especially on TikTok. I would say this all came after Jennifer Lopez canceled her this is me dot 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 now tour. You think people are mad? She canceled a few dates without any explanation. So those were the dates in Nashville, Tennessee, New Orleans, a few other places without any explanation. So I don't I don't think people are mad at her for canceling the dates. I think she canceled the dates because people I was just gonna say aren't messing with her. I don't anymore. think anyone was upset. I would go if it was cheap. How cheap? Fifty dollars. Fifty? That's all she how are you getting, Jennifer? I would not pay fifty dollars this year. See J Lo? I don't even know if I'd go for free. Oh, I'm going. You are? I'm going to watch her lip sync around on stage. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Let me move on. Kate Middleton. Stephanie's obsessed with this I story. am. I'm just going to be honest. Like, like I'm I don't so even, obsessed with this story. I'm over it. I've actually thought about it all day. At first, I ain't going to lie. I kept being like, Kate Middleton missing, but she ain't missing. I thought you did that in an accent just now. No, that was just, <laughs> my, my voice gets a little weird sometimes. No, she ain't missing. She alive, y'all. She just. You don't know. Allegedly a lot. Guys, we got to right, get into this. tell the people what happened, Steph. Okay, so basically there's a video going around. Well, there's a huge thing going around about Kate Middleton mm-hmm. right now. Where is she? She hasn't been seen since December. They've done a lot of really horrible Photoshop jobs of her. It's There's been clips of her that don't look like her. Basically, a clip came out, a video of her walking with her husband, mm-hmm. Prince William, and people don't know if it's her or not. And this is all after the Mother's Day debacle where she posted the Photoshop photo of her and the kids and everybody was like, this ain't really Kate. That was from her Vogue cover. Allegedly. There allegedly. were allegedly like pieces of different photos pieced together to make that Mother's Day edit. Bad Photoshop job. Bad regardless. Photoshop job. Yeah, regardless. Bad photo. We don't know where the photo's from, but bad Photoshop mm-hmm. job. This clip of her, people are saying is not her, and I'll give you the reasons why. Okay. <laughs> Old pics of Kate Middleton in heels. She's not even reaching her husband's neck. In the new clip, they look about same height. Almost. Okay? This girl's tall. Okay. Next, slim face versus puffier face. Nothing wrong. We're not saying she's fat. We're just saying it looks a little different. Skinnier versus puffier. Well, she did allegedly have abdominal surgery, so maybe she... Right. That could be why. Is not eating as much. Right. Third reason, and we looked into this, TMZ looked into this, there, in behind the clip, there was Christmas lights. And yes. people were thinking, why is there Christmas lights in March? Was this taken long ago or was it taken recently? And we actually checked and the Christmas lights are up in March. So that's confirmed. So there is like, so this got, could be so her. So two out of your three points were... were. It doesn't look like her. Okay, <laughs> I, have another, I have another thing too. Okay, one more. Go. Her posture doesn't, she doesn't walk like that. But again, she had a domino surgery, so maybe she's walking a little off. Yeah, for all we know, her stomach got chewed up on the surgery table, and now we like, stand up. Guys, like, I, I don't probably... think it's her. I don't. I, who else is it? Her doppelganger. Oh my God. What's her name? We had, so we had the Kate Middleton look like it. Okay. It's there. What? Heidi Aiken? Heidi Agen, mm-hmm. her doppelganger. That's who people think it is. Yes. So we had that woman on TMZ Live. She confirmed that that was not her. So She's Heidi- not going to tell the truth. How much do you think the Royals paid for for that clip? Lots. You don't think? Millions. I, don't, I, think, if, I think if they pay her for it, she would have had a no talk. Like No, agreement. because that's sus. If we contacted her and then she was like, I can't talk about it. No, that's she would have just denied the interview. She that would be sus. Because what else are you doing if you're right. a Middleton impersonator on right. a Tuesday? And also, another thing, why is no one, like, freaking out in the clip? Like, the people around them are just acting like, no big deal. Like, it was rehearsed. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It does not look like her. Please tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Please tell me if I'm right. It does not look like Kate Middleton. What? I think we are losing our minds over here in America because one, I talked to one of my homies in the UK and no one in, in Europe is freaking out about this. No it one is, cares. It is just us in America. Like, why are we losing our minds? Who the hell else is it going to be if it's not Kate Middleton, y'all? Her. Docco. You think it's Heidi? Yeah. 
It is definitely not Heidi. There are, and I will say that some of your points do have a little bit of like the height, the height thing, the posture. I know the the walk. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking, I'm hoping that this is just like maybe she was wearing like taller shoes. She wasn't. She was wearing sneakers. Some some sneakers have a little bit of a you know those orthopedic ones. There is photos of her wearing heels, high heels, six inch. I don't know. The fact that y'all are making me agree with the polis is really telling. That is crazy that you're not agreeing with me. Because I don't, I think it's her. I, do I believe what they've said about the situation? Okay. And do so, I believe the photos, like the edited? No. But like, do I think that that, who the hell else is walking with Prince William? Why post the Photoshop photo then? Answer that. According to Donald Trump, people do it all the time. But why? Just wait till she can take another pick. Well, it was Mother's Day, so she couldn't say nothing because she's like the mother of their nation. There's several photos of her with her children. They didn't have to Photoshop one. They wanted to Photoshop it to make it look like it was new. No, you're you're right with that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you're 100% right. They wanted us to believe that that was a live. Post picture. a throwback. Every time my mother's birthday, I'm not ah! taking a new, fresh <laughs> selfie with her. I'm posting an old pic. Okay, that's They wanted fair. to trick us. They did. That's why I'm like, I don't believe everything that comes from the Why do you think family. they want to trick us? Because she doesn't want to be photographed in her current state, whatever that is. Okay, so why can't she go online for the first time? Really connect with us, viewers, okay? You like an IG live? I want an IG pic. Like an IG ah! pic. I want her to be like, hey, guys, five-second clip. And she need to hold up a newspaper with the day's date because we, right, so we know. Right, because, you know, yeah, they might do some such shit like that. I need her to go on IG live and be like, listen, guys, this is a good, good, good time for her to connect with us. This is not a big deal. I just had a little abdominal surgery. I'm just recovering. They photoshopped the picture because I asked them to. Everything's fine, guys. Love you. Well, that was another thing when she came out and said that she photoshopped the photo. When it's like, girl, you really think that we believe you sat on your <laughs> No. As laptop, someone who does Photoshop here at TMZ, she did not, she did do, not that. do that. No, that, sh that takes so long. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. So what's the moral of the story here? Is Kate Middleton missing? Is that what you think the moral of the story is? I think maybe she got some work done, which I support. Okay. Maybe we, a little face. I was about to say a little mommy makeover. That's what I was saying. Tummy tuck, little mommy like tummy tuck. A little, little something, yeah, something. a little, I support it. A little, both, a little filler. Right. Okay. I support it. I think okay. maybe it's the perfect recovery time, December to like March, if you got a facelift, okay, okay. a conic slay, or she's dead. <sighs> <laughs> she, she, they killed her. I don't know. She is not dead. She's we should not say that dead. a thousand times. Okay, guys. Not dead. not dead. I'm just but saying. Something. Be. You think it's something else. Something going on. And your final thought is that you do not believe that the woman that was in the video is Kate Middleton. Correct. All right. And I'm asking the office today their All opinions. Right. Well, stick around next week for TMZ Verified to see if Kate Middleton is alive. No, I'm talking. Do you still ever go IG Live and like. No. No, too much room for error with like live and stuff like that. Okay, do you think she would post a video and be like, hey, guys? I do. Th I think in a we're British going to, accent? Yeah, no, I think we're going in her British accent. <laughs> I love her accent so much. I do think we're going to see like a Kate Middleton, like conf like a confessional video. Like, do you think I they do here. a setup shot in terms of like a background, like kind of like Oval Office vibes where it's like her sitting at the <gasps> palace? Or would it be more of like a selfie like, casual, like in her closet? like At the kitchen counter. Chic. All right, we have okay, sorry. two more minutes and we would love to talk about Ariana Grande. And by we, I mean Stephanie would love to talk about Ariana Grande. Okay. Don't lie. I was about to say, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like The first, friend. I come back from a, a ah! broad trip, and while, before I even sit down at my desk, he goes, the album. <laughs> so good. What do we think about the album? Because y'all, if y'all watch TMZ Verify, y'all know every week we give Ariana Grande shit. We but dating Ethan Slater, because how dare you? How dare you, oh, Ariana? There's something to be said about that, too. I was thinking about it after listening to the album. Of course, <laughs> I changed my mind. Because when did the zip become? He was married. She wasn't, allegedly. So in the timeline, it's always you can't steal a guy from a girl. So you don't blame Ariana? I don't know. If I, I blame, blame him. Anybody because they're all I don't blame her. Adults, but okay, like, she's so sexy. He just had to cheat. Like he sucks. She's just like there. And then maybe not make a song about it. Saying Hope you feel alright when you in. No, like, maybe not make a song where you're like, I stole your man, and, like, and there are a few songs on the album that I really do like, and I really like the album, and there's one song in particular called Imperfect, and I'm like, I know she wrote this about Ethan Slater, because they talk <gasps> about how imperfect they are, and I go, if, one, if there's one thing about Ethan Slater, he is imperfect. Like, there, I'm just saying, because we're all imperfect. <laughs> okay, but mostly him, is what you're saying? 
Oh, and so I know that's like a love. I, she hasn't said it, but I know it's like it has to be a love letter to Ethan Slater. One more thing. Go. Dalton Gomez, Ariana's uh, divorce was yeah. settled, complete, finalized. Yeah, finalized. My question to you: Yes, he got a settlement of a million dollars. He's a million dollars richer. As he should. City boys up. What? You don't think he deserves a settlement for what? He had to watch. From America as Ariana. Oh my God, you are so annoying. Allegedly towing you around in Europe he, with Ethan Slater. You think he deserves a dime? Yes. Absolutely not. I think anybody that marries up deserves a little some something. No, on the way out. he gets enough credit as is. He was with Ariana Grande. Now he's dating hotter girls. That's his reward. Okay, and his $1 million. Look boys. at Pete Davidson. Up. Right, but you don't need a million dollars on top of it. Yeah, but Pete. Davidson and half the house. Guys. Imagine if Pete was married to Kim and he had to deal with all of those kids. He would never. And all, exactly. But if he did, he deserved a little bit of chump change. No. So Ariana Grande's divorce is finalized. That's all we have to say here. We like the album. Love it. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Goodbye. No. We'll, uh... <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> We're ending it. Uh, Everyone comment down below and agree with me. The great uh, album. We're going to get out of here, y'all. Until next week. We'll You're see so fake. You love the album. You love the album. I do love it. I do love it. I heard him pulling up this morning. Hope you feel it. Ah, uh, okay. Bye. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs>